To say that Britain is one of the most haunted places in the world isn't mere speculation. It's a fact. With its history spanning thousands of years, filled with intrigue, betrayal and bloodshed, it's no surprise that many of its buildings are home to countless spectres. Bradgate House, an old ruined building sat in the middle of Bradgate Park, five miles northwest of Leicester, is one such place. the skeletal remains of the once great Bradgate House sits in ruin on Bradgate Park and is considered to be one of Britain's great lost country houses. The history of this lovely example of early Tudor architecture was the birthplace and childhood home of one of Britain's most controversial monarchs, Lady Jane Grey. Lady Jane was born at Bradgate House on the 12th of October, 1537. That same month, Henry VIII's third wife, Jane Seymour, gave birth to a son. The Greys, always ambitious, hoped to marry their daughter to Prince Edward, the new heir to the throne, even though the two infants were cousins. Lady Jane Grey spent her childhood at Bradgate, where she developed a reputation for scholarship. Unlike the rest of her family who enjoyed outdoor sports such as hunting, Jane preferred the company of a good book. Now the whole story about Jane is highly documented here on the internet, so if you want to know all about this young girl's life, it is freely available elsewhere. Now a long story short, on the 10th of July 1554, Lady Jane Grey was crowned as Queen of England. Jane is whisked away to Sion House near London, where she was forced to accept the crown of England. The news came as a huge shock to Jane, who literally shook with fright as the news was delivered. She fainted as every courtier in the room knelt before her as their sovereign. She was adamant, pleading, saying, The crown is not my right, it pleases me not, Mary is the rightful heir. She knew how dangerous her position was. Nine days later, Jane was sitting at supper when the news that Mary had been proclaimed queen reached her. Her father stormed in, declaring, you are no longer queen. In her heartbreaking reply, she just simply asked, may I go home? Although Jane had not wanted the crown, she was guilty of treason just for accepting it. It was a bold move, but one fated to fail. Lady Jane's reign of nine days was soon over and she was executed for treason at just 16 years old. Now, for all you ghost lovers watching, this is where it gets interesting. Before this poor girl met her fate, she calmly asked if she could just go home. And according to legend, that's exactly what she does. Lady Jane Grey makes a grisly appearance on the night before Christendom's holiest day, Christmas Eve. A ghostly carriage pulled by a team of headless horses is seen galloping up to a church in Newtown, Linford. In the carriage is the ghost of the nine-day queen herself, Lady Jane Grey. Before reaching the door of the church, the carriage vanishes and reappears in front of Bradgate House. When it comes to a halt, Jane departs the phantom carriage and walks up to her beloved childhood home. Some have even said she is cradling her own head in her arms. A skeptic might say this is nothing more than an overblown legend, but witnesses to the bizarre scene would beg to differ. 
the Christmas Eve appearance of Lady Jane Grey, which has occurred every year since her death in 1554, is not alone at the ruins of Bradgate House. The sounds of galloping horses and a creaking carriage are heard coming from nowhere, and yet from everywhere. It is certainly a place to visit, maybe to see for yourself.